Hi there. Another great way of working backwards is to use branching. Okay, especially when you see questions that involve fractions, branching can be a good method to help you to work backwards. Alright, so let's go through how do we use branching to solve this question. John has some sweets. He gave one third of his sweets and another four to Peter. Then he gave one third of the remaining sweets and another three to Mark and one third of the rest and another three to Xavier. In the end, he had three sweets left. And how many sweets did he have at first? Alright, so now we can use a uh, branching to help us to represent this question. Okay, so we have the total sweets over here. And let's draw three branches. Okay, he give three, sorry, he give one third of his sweets and four to Peter. Okay, so here is one third and four. And so this will be the remainder. Okay, after giving to Peter, okay, this will be the remainder. And now out of this remainder, he gave one third and three more to Mark. Okay, so here will be one third and three, and this will represent the rest. Okay, after giving all this to Mark, this will represent the rest. And out of this rest, he gave one third and three more to Xavier. Okay, so here is one third and three. These are given to Xavier. And in the end, he had three sweets left. Okay, so this will be the three sweets that he have in the end. Do you understand the diagram so far? Okay, and from here, I want to work backwards to find the total sweets at the start. Alright, so first of all, let's work backwards, okay? Since uh, this is one third of the rest, so this plus this must be equal to two third of the rest. Do you understand? Because all these branches must, must give us the total sweets in here. Okay, so one minus one third, you get two third. So two third of the rest will be three plus three, which give us six. So to find the rest, you take six divided by two times three. Okay, remember right, you're working backwards. So six divided by two times three will give us nine. So nine sweets represent the rest over here. Okay, so now we apply the same logic. Okay, so after giving away one third of the remainder, so this plus this must give us two third of the of the remainder. Alright, so two third of the remainder will be three plus nine, which give us twelve. So to find the remainder over here, you need to work backwards. You take twelve divided by two times three. Okay, which will give us twelve divided by two is six, while six times three is eighteen. Okay, so there are eighteen sweets over here. Okay, so now we are at a final phase. We want to find a total, so we work, we work backwards again. He give one third away, so this will represent two third. Okay, because one minus one third is two third. So two third of the total will be equals to eighteen plus four, which give us twenty two. And so now to find a total, you take twenty two divided by two times three, which is eleven times three, which will give us a final answer of thirty three sweets left. All right. So when you met, when you meet this type of question in your exams, okay, when they give you the final value and you want to find the starting value, and the question also involves fractions, okay, you can actually use a branching to help you to solve the question.